arc plus analysis we have uh, drawn here one single line diagram mm, this is a simple single line diagram connect this grid is connected 110 kb grid is connected uh, with this 110 kb bus and here one step down transformer let's draw the balance part uh, to run this arc plus analysis connect it and another thing I want to add here on lump load let's define the values suppose this transformer secondary is point to transform rating 2.5 MBA impedance typical click OK now this bus voltage it's a bit 0.415 Okay. and disconnected lump load suppose this is 0.1 MBA okay so now let's check with the load flow calculation so this current or uh, this 415 volt bus is drawing 138.3 ampere the bus voltage is also okay so it's okay let's check source circuit No bus is bolted. Suppose let's create uh, the fault here. Forty five point five six seven kilo ampere short circuit rating. Okay. Now to run the arc plus analysis here, uh, let's click here arc plus and here is the tab to run the arc plus analysis in this bus 4 before that we have to define uh, some values over here so this is study case edit mode here fault we need to create a fault over here so bus 4 create a fault over here okay now go to this method uh, tab okay there are there are different methods available here previously it was IEEE 1584 2002 version now this is the latest one IEEE 1584 so click here and here everything is okay okay incident energy for LV equipment also let's check here okay now clearing time okay here you can select uh, what the main protective device isolation either individual or global so let's say it's global so typical IEEE 1584 2018 value will go as per global let's check parameters over here now you can see 
bus gap and working distance you can click you can choose from here individual bus editor or this is global art plus analysis data let's check this one and under this typical IT review on 584 2018 or user defined let's check this one and edit here you can see these are the typical values for different voltage ranges and equipment type suppose this is switch gear so this is the voltage range up to 1 kb and this is electrode configuration whether it is vertical or horizontal configuration this is the gap height with depth and here working distance this is the working distance okay now this is incident energy level here you can uh, check that NFPA 70 e 2012 to 2021 let's edit or approve PP we have to approve PP let's click here and here you can see the different uh, standards available here previously it was 2009-2004 like this but this this one is the latest one 2012 to 2021 here you can see level a b c d like this and these are the incident energy uh, energy uh, defined over here these are the calorie per centimeter square if you check the previous version it was 2009 here only level 0 1 2 3 4 and here up to level 4 up to 40 and here you can see so this is now added level F level G these are also defined over here so let's click here or you can modify the values also so these are the typical values and here up to PPE and here this personal protective equipment PPE requirement check this box this is now approved click OK let's go back arc plus boundary arc plus boundary it is standard values defined 1.2 calorie per centimeter square shock protection boundaries this is global and it is as per NFPA 2018 to uh, 2021 okay now let's click ok okay now now we are going to uh, check the um, arc plus analysis for this bus 4 let's click over here or on arc plus as per IEEE 1584 okay here you can see this FCT not determined so uh, there is an error why why this is uh, showing because just to check here you can see this is the bus editor mode if you click here under arc plus tab here you can see this is the bus fault current and bus arcing current this is 28.15 this is 28.15 but the problem is related to source PD so here source PD source PD arcing current and fault clearing time that means FCT this is not defined that's why this error is coming FCT not determined so this arc plus analysis uh, data is not found found here so for this what we have to do we have to insert the source PD protection device let's close this one let's go back to edit mode okay we need to insert 
लो वोल्टेज सर्किट ब्रेकर और यार ओके लेट्स बूट है करंट ट्रांसफार्मर एंड वन ओवर करंट रिले कनेक्टेड फर्स्टली लेट्स चेक द सीबी रेटिंग so this is cb3 go to rating page she go to library okay let's say it's abbd lay dsm okay this is 0.41.48 kb let's select this one and CB this circuit breaker click OK 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 now to define the values of this city let's run this load flow once again so this was 138.3 ampere 138.3 ampere so let's define the ct3 rating over here suppose this is 200 is to 1 ct and reliever in suppose 10 va click ok now let's define the value of this overcurrent uh, relay element ok let's go to input here it is connected input is coming from ct3 this is ok and go to output let's add any of the element and here add Let's click this is LVCB and CB3. So in case of any fault, this overcurrent relay, this will trip CB3 breaker. It will open. Now OCR. Let's select the characteristic uh, from library, ETF library. Suppose this is Anstom. P139 relay so this is overcurrent element this is overcurrent relay overcurrent and overload protection for cable lines and transformer and motors let's click ok here let's uncheck the, this one only overcurrent element we are considering uh, here and see suppose normal inverse let's say select uh, this rating over here Okay, now it's okay. Okay, so once again, let's go back to our plus mode. Here, this bus is already faulted. Let's go to edit study mode. method it's okay clearing time typical i to replay ct let's go to parameter so these are okay approve pp okay already approved click okay and once more for this bus editor just double click here here you can see under rating so let's select here this data options standard and see data options 
so uh, arc plus analysis data as per IEEE 1584-2018 typical values here soft crease assessment as per, as per NFPA 2018 to 2021 and voltage is written let's click OK and here click typical data next move forward to R plus tab under R plus tab you can see here short speedy okay we need to run uh, source circuit once again okay now let's go back to to this mode plus okay line side load side okay let's check okay I've run the arc plus analysis over here so now that uh, that error already removed FCT not determined that is removed and this is the uh, result we have obtained this is level B arc plus boundary this is 0 0.905 meter incident energy at 45.7 centimeter 3.577 calorie per centimeter square and fault clearing time is 0 0.062 second okay if I let's insert this fault sequence operation this is turned into YOLO just click here okay so you can see in case of any arc class over here so this is the protective device this breaker will open CB3 it will open and here if CD fault clearing time is 0 0.062 second at 27.818 kilo ampere okay now we can check uh, display option here energy level so all these should be checked energy level arc plus boundary incident energy if set in second or in cycles so here we are showing in second okay so click okay okay so this is the this is the procedure this is the procedure to check the arc plus analysis using ETAP software this can be checked for any of the buses in any electrical network system